All right, guys, we're here today to go over the most important technique when it comes to open training, cleaning up after yourselves. First thing, sweeping up the mats. Second step, spraying the mats. Third and final, security and walkthrough. So now we're gonna go over all these important techniques step by step and break them down for you guys so you know exactly what to do when you come in for open training. So step number one when cleaning up the gym is making sure that we sweep the mats. In order to do that, everybody needs to know where the brooms are located. So I come here just outside the cross room door, I look for these hooks on the wall and the broom will be located in their proximity. So let's say I just trained Jiu Jitsu today. You actually need a different broom in order to clean that room, but you can always find it located right outside the Jiu Jitsu room. Just look for the broom with the big yellow handle. So at the beginning of the process, I get the push broom and I push all the dust down to the far side wall. Then I use the push broom to push it all into one small pile and I get the broom and dust pan in order to pick it up off the mat. And we talked about sweeping mats where you can find brooms. Now we're gonna talk about step number two. <clears throat> this little guy right here. This is where I wanna uh, use to spray the mats, to disinfect, clean everything, which is very important keeps us from getting ringworm, uh, staff, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, What I wanna do, I'm gonna take this button here and I'm gonna make sure I have it turned on. And once I have that turned on, everything should be ready to go. And I'm gonna use the handle here. As I'm squeezing down, I'm gonna spray. You'll see us cover that in just a second. <clears throat> All right, guys, now that we've gone over sweeping and I've explained what the uh, machine in my hand here is, well, I'm going to show you how we properly spray our mats to keep them uh, disinfected and, and clean. All right, now that we have the floors nice and sprayed, we're going to return our sprayer right back to the, uh, on top of the cubbies, uh, stationed next to the charger, which should look like this, a three prong attachment. We want to make sure it's nice and secure when we plug it back in to charge up. Be nothing hanging off, nice and secured in, up against the wall and turned off. There you go. All right guys, so the last piece is going through the gym and making sure that there's nothing else that needs to be picked up and everything is secure. Part of that means picking up any towels people leave behind, any of the gym wipes people leave on the cubbies, and putting away any equipment that people leave out in its respective place. Personal gear goes in the lost and found. All right guys, sometimes when people come in to the gym for open training, they like to work out outside, which is fine. But all we need you to do is close up after you're done. So if I'm using the hammers, which go right over here by the bars next to the exit door, I wanna make sure that when I leave, this is out of here, and it's right back to where it goes, which is right over here, along with anything else that I might get out. All right, Dean, we got the whole gym clean. Only thing left to do is lock the doors, make sure they're secure before we go on about our day. Okay, guys, there you have it. Three quick steps, how you want to clean up your after yourselves for open mat Sundays. Just remember guys, you want to respect the space that you train in, and you want to clean up and make sure that it's ready for the next people that might come in, whether it's for a class or for training themselves. Respect the mat and respect your partner.